Boris House, the ancestral home of the McMurray clan of Leinster, is situated at the foot of the Blackstairs Mountains in the village of Boris Carlow. Originally a castle, the house was built on the property in 1668. Alterations were made to the exterior in 1731, but the design that remains today came from a refurbishing job initiated in 1812. The house today stands on 600 acres of park and woodland, consisting of a stud and golf course. Its quaint, original design makes it exemplary and unique as Walter Kavanagh. The property during its initial refurbishment sought to preserve aspects of the original castle and incorporate neo-Gothic elements inspired by the Cork, born architect Richard Morrison. The trees surrounding the entrance and the gates are deliberately positioned to heighten a visitor's anticipation upon viewing a house that was designed by pioneers of the neo-Gothic architectural design. Being such a recognised fortification and being situated within a reasonable distance from Vinegar Hill, Boris House was targeted by rebels looking for weapons and gunpowder during the 1798 rebellion, with the fact that McMurray Cavanaugh supported the Crown giving rebels added incentive. The house was attacked twice but both attacks were repelled with minor damages to the house's exterior and chapel being the most significant consequence. While most of Boris House avoided incorrigible damage, defence from future attacks became a priority. In doing so, a building of exemplary design was created. The Act of Union made a significant contribution to Walter Kavanagh's intentions. It signalled the demise of Georgian Dublin and Dublin Castle as a focal point of British occupation in Ireland. Former members of Parliament were awarded £15,000 each as incentive to vote for the Act to pass. The financial resources required to refurbish Boris House received an incremental boost when Walter's heir, Thomas, married Mary Walsh, a wealthy heiress who endorsed Walter's initial vision to make Boris House defensively solid and unique in an architectural sense. The McMurray Cavanaghs initiated a building programme which was to transform their 18th century mansion into a Tudor revival showpiece, complete with battlements and turrets, a new service wing and chapel, new stables, garden folly tower and a mock medieval gatehouse as a grand entrance from the village's main street. The template for the new design stemmed from the houses inspired by the neo-gothic design in Hatfield and Burleigh in England. On entrance to the house itself, the family crest consisting of a line and a crescent shape can be seen above the door together with the motto in Irish She Con August Barsin, meaning peace and plenty in English. The house was rearranged internally with the creation of a new entrance hall, a new stairs case which leads to a large library on the first floor, an elegantly remodelled drawing room and a study room full of memorabilia that reflects the legacy of the McMurray clan in Ireland. All of these were created with the most up-to-date neoclassical and gothic plaster work which still remains in pristine form today. Richard Morrison's distinctive legacy is transparent in its design. Assisted by his brother William, he maintained the conventional Georgian structure while incorporating Tudor Gothic elements of the exterior with neoclassical features inside. For example, the hall is square but its cartwheel shaped plaster ceiling creates the deceiving impression of a circular shape. A series of amber coloured scagliola columns support shallow pointed Tudor esque arches on which the whole circular ceiling sits. The capital support line masks above while giant eagles with outstretched wings occupy the spandrels. The fringe is unified by the unending series of garlands and festoons. In each corner of the hall, mahogany doors lead into four principal reception rooms. These doors are unique, as they are carved inwards in order to utilise space available and to give the deceiving impression that the rooms being entered are smaller than what they are. To the right, the study consists of a shallow domed oval ceiling, while the drawing room provides double bow ends and a delicately latticed plasterwork ceiling. The dining room and kitchen are more conventional in their design, retaining aspects of the previous house and castle to maintain a balance between quaint and modern. Today the chapel on the premises stands separately from the house. It was originally linked by the means of a service wing corridor which leads directly to the gallery, where the family sat during services. The altar in the chapel was donated to the McMurray cabinets by the 19th century Irish poet Francis Alexander. The tree of life is painted on the wall behind the seating area on the second floor of the chapel. This was painted by the Irish artist Barry Cook. In similar fashion to the staircase in the house, the chapel displays similar Tudor Gothic rib vaulted plasterwork. One of Walter McMurray Cavanagh's greatest ambitions while refurbishing the property was perpetuating his family's legacy. This manifested itself with the creation of the library. Today it still contains special collections regarding the family's history, including information on genealogy, political involvement, folklore and memorabilia that surrounds the property and the village of Boris in general. The library embodies the shift away from the Georgian structure. It was deliberately placed at the top of the staircase in the central area as the nucleus of the remodelling process. 
The ceiling of the room painted in terracotta is facilitated by the walls which are plastered à faux pierre. The library is an appropriate balance between traditional styles and experimental art, an aspect that makes it so appealing to tourists today. The most conspicuous aspects of Boris House's exterior is the windows that are decorated using rectangular head moulds in cement. The corner of each window at the front of the house has a sculpted face of an ancestor reflecting Walter's desire to perpetuate the family's legacy. The current owners, Morgan and Sarah, are undertaking the restoration of the granite and sandstone of the exterior walls. They are also attempting to revive a lace industry that provided employment for locals during the famine. The house is constantly being updated to maintain its image as one of the most flamboyantly designed houses in Ireland. The culmination of visual beauty and historical information about a family has had a major impact on Ireland. Today it is available for weddings, tours and functions. With these it also hosts a yearly literary festival that has been attended by writers including Patrick Kavanagh, Anne Enright and Ian McEwan.